What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player of the week review. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly, right? Number one, there is 21 players to get through here. And then also these players have been kind of re-releases of before, okay? So if you're looking this week and saying, right, what's new or what new players are there? These players have been released before or different variations, slightly different variations of them before um, that would have been released and then would have been, you know, from various different points of player of the week throughout the week. So, for example, Neymar, I think, was in November um, last year or something like that. He was one of the very first player of the weeks. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But then the rest of them are all there as well. You can see Salah there. This was November, 10th of November 2022 as well. So, yeah, if you missed out on any of these, I think they're kind of re-rolling these so that if somebody gets them, I know for a fact that my Salah, that the one I got, he's actually out of contract. So, yeah, if I get him for free, then obviously I won't need to give a contract to him right so there are 21 players in total i will go through these um a couple of players in detail but the rest of them i'll just kind of gloss over because at this stage in the game unless you are a newcomer and i mean literally have only played the game for like you know downloaded it today and you're watching this video if you are any of these players are going to be an upgrade for you you know so me saying that like somebody like david lopez he's going to be like no good he's not going to be worthwhile he is going to improve your squad if you've got everybody else that are just like you know in the 70s or 60s overall right but when i talk about the average kind of player i'm talking about whether these are viable now as we enter into efootball 2024 which we already have news on so yeah, let's see what happens, right, with Witty Football 2024. But we will leave a couple of these big boys till the end. Any of these here, right, I would say these top five here. Nelson isn't a bad option if you do get him. I mean, he's just an average winger, lads, to be honest with you. Standard form, super sub makes him a little bit more viable, but he's just an average winger, right? Maxi Arnold as well, this guy, not bad for an anchor man. He's actually quite quick for an anchor man, but his aggression, his tackle and his defensive awareness, just not good enough for an anchor man. There's so many better players out there than him. So these five here, and I would say that these uh, four at the bottom, these nine players back, I'm not even going to spend too much time on them because unless you're a fan of the team or the player and you just want to try something differently, there are players that you can buy for about 50,000 GP that are better than those nine players, right? Obviously, Gross isn't a bad player either. Um, he can play a lot of different positions. But for all intents and purposes, you are going to be able to go into the GP market after doing one or two events. And, you know, you're going to have about 300,000 that you can buy a player or two better than any of these by a mile, right? Obviously, you need to train them up. They're not the finished article. Now, as we get up the list here, we're going to have a little bit more to discuss, right? So I'll kind of break them down a little bit, and then we'll discuss my favorite ones at the end. So Tagliafico, De Vrij, Gabriel, Elmas, Kostic, De Gea, and Icardi. I would say that I will round these into kind of mid mid type players, right? So I would have like these players at the back here, these nine. I would say they're good for early game, uh, that they're not going to really improve your team. They might improve your squad unless you're a newcomer. The rest of the players then will be mid that I've just called out there. So Tagliafico, De Frige, Gabriel, uh, David De Gea, uh, Kustic, uh, Elmas, and Icardi. They would be kind of like mid, as in, yeah, Icardi isn't a bad option. I mean, his pace in that isn't too bad for a fox in the box. One touch pass is nice. Um, but you're not going to be really like going up the divisions too easily with these guys. And again, you could buy better players with the standard GP, right? Kostic isn't a bad player either. He's really good on the ball. His lofted passes are exceptional. You can play him left wing, left mid, and he's a cross specialist. So if you're if you are like putting in a lot of balls into the box, I definitely recommend this guy. He is a bit different on wavering form. He's got pinpoint crossing. He's got early crosser. He's also got lo low lofted pass. And he's got long range curlers. So there's a lot to like about this card. Gabriel, your solid center back, 84 tackling, 86 aggression, 72 acceleration, not bad. Tagliafico, the same. I would say that he's all about crossing. You can see there he has pinpoint crossing. He has unwavering form. He's true passing and he's got early crosser there. Kind of very similar to who we just talked about a second ago. Um with uh Kustic, right and then we've got Elmas as a left mid left wing whichever you want to use him you can use him right mid as well this guy's got standard form he's got one touch pass and double touch which isn't too bad soul control as well for that special double touch David De Gea you know what you're going to be getting with him 87 reflexes is more than enough a lot of people like uh De Gea in it I wouldn't be a big fan of him I mean I've had him for a while and I don't really play him 
the Frige, then you're going to be getting your standard center back, slow, but very, very solid. And then who's it, who's last? Yeah, I think that's it. Now, moving on to the kind of big boys of this pack, right? You've got Mane, Ashi, uh, Neymar, and Salah, and Matoma. Personally, my favorite is Matoma. If you're looking for something a little bit different, that's not just blistering pace, but is more kind of like a throwback Pez player, I would definitely recommend Matoma, lads, right? He's got double touch and soul control. He's also got chop turn, which is huge if you know how to use it. Um, it can be nearly as effective as double touch if you are getting good at it and you're able to pull it off in the box. Usually, I would say eight times out of 10, maybe 75% of the time. If you do a, a chop turn, like a Ronaldo chop, in the box and the player makes contact with you, you will usually score uh, or get a penalty out of it and get an easy chance at a goal, right? He also has first time shot and one touch pass. He can play left wing, left mid. He can't really cross the ball in, right? But he does have amazing run and uh, that is going to improve his dribbling as well as incisive run when you're not controlling him. Now he's down as a creative playmaker, which is a very unique left midfielder, left winger kind of style, right? So that does kind of make him, I would prefer prolific winger. That's just me because I play out wide. But yeah, he's a good player. I mean, it's all about dribbling with him. Again, you can get a better version of him if you train up the standard, but this is just cutting away all the trainers if you don't have it. Next up, we've got Oshie. Oshiman has had a couple of versions of him as well. Big problem with this Oshie card, lads, is the same as all his other cards, and it's the same as the Haaland card, is his lack of balance. Speed and acceleration is fine. Finishing is fine. In the air, physically, he's fine as well. He also has only standard form, and he doesn't have the best player skills. That's one thing. He doesn't have the best player skills if you're looking to be an all-rounder, okay? Now, we've got Neymar, Mane, and Saleh, right? Neymar is probably the pick of them, right? This Neymar is a fantastic player. I think that the only thing he's missing is one-touch pass, which you can uh, give his standard card. If you have any other version of Neymar, I recommend giving him one-touch pass. Everything else is fine. He does have standard form. Acceleration, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, absolutely insane. Balance is brilliant as well. And his finishing for a left winger is brilliant. Now, he can't really cross the ball in too much. So you are going to have to go in and shoot uh, a lot more than you probably usually would, right? Manny is in a similar boat, okay? He doesn't have as good stats, as good finishing stats as Neymar. But he does have some really good player skills that you see here. Double touch, cut behind and turn. He also has acrobatic finishing and first time shot with pinpoint crossing. Uh, so he's a bit of a more uh, kind of like out wide, naturally out wide player, okay? Uh, standard form as well. 93 acceleration, 90 speed, 87 balance, which is huge. And of course, you've got that 88 dribbling. He's kind of one of the most balanced left-sided players in the game. And then last but not least, we do have Mo Salah. I've had a love-hate relationship with Salah. Obviously, me being a United fan and him being a Liverpool player, um, he's broken many a heart over his uh, tenure in the Premier League. But this is a really good card, lads, and I definitely would try this card again. Uh, I do have this card in my deck as it is, but his one-touch pass, his double-touch, his chip shot control, rising shot, long-range shooting, long-range curler, pretty much has everything you could possibly want. And look at those stats, man. 90 offensive awareness, 91 ball control and finishing and an acceleration, and then 90 speed with 90 balance. That is an insane card. I would probably use him cutting in from the right wing, um, although he is down as a goal poacher, you could use him as kind of like an out wide CF as well if you've got a target man in the box. But yeah, that is it for the first pack from the Encore Stars June 29, part one. We'll be back with part two very, very soon. Anything that you need more information on, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, peace.